Now then, I'm Wayne. Uh, this is Division 24 in Wakefield, West Yorkshire, and we are uh, 16 years old. So we opened shop in 2001 as uh, board riders, skate, snow and surf. That was my brother Dave, it was his idea. And it basically just went from there really. We got into it at a bit of a fortunate time, but then as the years rolled by, it got worse and worse. Uh, I took over in 2005, changed the name to Division 24. So Division 24 is 16 years, but it has been a skate shop for 20, 20 years. That was the second board I ever had. So that's original, but all the rest are repros. But all these are either boards that I wanted or liked. As a kid, you know, favourite graphics like that. Jason, Jesse, Sun God. So that's all my own collection, really. So the name Division 24 came from... Um, I had to come up with a name pretty quick after board riders. So I, I wrote a list of about 10 names on a, on a sheet of paper. Sort of based it on a bit of a military kind of theme. Um, the number 24 is just a reference to the building number. That's all that is. But at the time, there was a snowboard company called Division 23, which I liked their logo. And uh, so I put a, a list of names down and, and all my sort of pals and family and stuff picked the Division 24 one. So yeah, that's how I come up with name, really. You pinched it. Yeah, yeah kind of, yeah. Yeah, just borrowed it. <laughs> so this photo is taken by Leo Sharp and it's it's Lance Mountain skating the DSS bank to bank to wall in Wakey, which is no longer there now. But this spot were horrible, mate. All different leveled slabs, big gaps in them, proper crusty spot. Um, and the the actual wall is not a wall. It's like a plastic uh, PVC window kind of thing. So yeah, Lance Mountain in Wakey, man, legend. I started skating in like 1987, I think. Um, bought my first board off at, off at market for 12 quid. I think it was a mad skull. First thing we did was take wheels off it and put some roller boot wheels on it <laughs> uh, to make it faster. Uh, so yeah, I skated for about, um, you know, until sort of maybe 1990, got out of it uh, in my teens, got into a other stuff which we'll not go into that uh, too much but uh, uh, sort of late 90s started mountain biking doing a lot of dirt jumps downhill racing stuff like that then got into snowboarding at the same time which then led back to skating really and then I've never stopped from 2001 I think I've skated every week for the last 20 years unless I've been injured or on holiday really <laughs> Crooked did a demo at Leeds Skate Park, uh, works at the time. So it's signed by Gons, uh, Dan Drobel and Bobby Warrist and Van Wastel, who's not with us anymore. I think he passed away years ago. Basically, this guy brought it in and he said, uh, will you grip this for me, mate? Because uh, I ain't got any board um, to skate. I says, oh, you can't skate that, man. Um, I said, I'll tell you what, pick any board off at wall, I'll swap you for it. And he was like, really? I says, yeah, get what you want, mate. So he picked a creature board, I think. So I swapped it for that. So this photo is uh, of, uh, of Eamon from Barnsley. Sadly, he's uh, no longer with us. But a uh, really lovely guy. Um, so yeah, rest easy, mate. Um, super good skateboarder. Um, this one, uh, <laughs> I had Goons and Associates. This was a bit of a, bit of a nod to... Um, you know, the good fellas thing that that we run the skateboard racket in this town because um, other shops that have tried to get the foot in the door, um, we've sort of put blockers on that really. So that graphic were done uh, as a bit of a nod to that really. <laughs> it's which Fat Tony of Simpsons based on um, Polly and good fellas. <laughs> so this is my wheel card collection, which started by accident. Um, because when I used to put the wheels in the cabinet, I'd always save the cards in case people bought them online. So when the wheels sold, I ended up with the cards and I just couldn't bear to throw them away because of artwork. These are recent ones. 
Element Peanuts, Mandalorian one. So you get stuff like that. These patches look like a Slayer one, Misfits. Um, this is really cool. It's John Cardiel. It's like a rolling tray. Came with some wheels. Oh, look at that as well. Like a beer mat, Cardiel. Um, hey, up, mate. Hey, up. Pretty sweet. That were like a candle thing, what wrapped around wheels, like a church candle. Oh, you've locked door, mate. Oh. <laughs> Andy Roy, when he pulled his teeth tooth out and it were hidden in a set of wheels, came with a badge. And if you uh, if you found his tooth, you won a year's worth of wheels or something like that. Don't be a sec, mate. I'm just geeking out on wheel cards. These are my two of my favourites, I think. So you've got the John Cardiel, like a record sleeve, that reggae colours, and uh, that Chris Cole Turtles one. Loads of thought gone into these, artwork, great. Need to be in a museum, these, man. Who rides for the shop? Yeah, I've got a, a pretty big team, really. Um, I'm probably going to forget somebody's name on this, but we've got... Um, the oldest one, really, is probably Aidan Blameyer. Paul Watson, or is known as Wapo. There's uh, Dave Morgan, who's out in Berlin at the moment. Frank Spacey, he's in, um, he's in Madrid at the moment. I've got Jasmine Lowe, she's good. Uh, Farron Golding, who else? John Sykes as well. And uh, Alan Callahan, who is also known as Dr. Trey, local legend. One man demo, basically. I don't think there's anything that he can't do on a skateboard. I hope I haven't forgot anybody else. I once heard some uh, whispering outside the shop and um, it was a family with a couple of kids and I heard this woman say, oh, oh not, we can't go in there because uh, it's uh, there's witchcraft on the walls because <laughs> of the 666. So yeah, they walked off pretty mad really. It's just fresh a little go to me. It doesn't. But I guess it is a goat with 666 on it. The best thing about owning a skate shop is that you don't have to answer to anybody. You just get to meet some amazing people um, and some weirdos as well, I guess. No, I love it. It's, it's great. But it can be stressful at times, especially when in previous years when business has been really bad and you're wondering whether you're going to be in a job or not. Um, the negative side to it is holidays. That, that's never good. And if you're sick, Nobody picks that phone up when you're ringing. So you can't ever be sick, really. <laughs> so I, I, I painted that. I hand painted it and hand cut it out with a saw because I love all that sort of military aircraft um, artwork and stuff like that, really. I've got tons of, tons of boards. I've also got one uh, of every shop board that we've ever had made. So this one, that what first shop board we ever had done, which is just logo board. Basically, it's that that badge. I made that. It's a, I think it's a US Air Force badge, and I just rubbed the graphic out on paint and dropped name at shopping with rubber stamp font, which is sort of military themed. You say that you use paint. I use paint to make the first ever logo, and then I obviously had it um, vectored since then, but. Now then, because one at Lads, Brenner, he always pointed out that whenever he walked in the shop, that was the first thing I said, now then. Um, it's got brew on it, you know, Yorkshire thing in it. This one, my actual tape cassette collection at the time. And then all the shop riders at the time, I let them choose a name and I actually did artwork as a, like as though it were an album sort of thing keeping it again on military theme. Got some toy soldiers on a paper background. This plane here, uh, we're on a metal rod and I thought it'd be a good idea to set it on fire with some gas. And the wings set on fire and drip plastic onto paper and set paper on fire, which nearly set shop on fire. So that's got a pretty mad story to it. This one was the 10 year anniversary at shop. I basically wrote a pages of letters, just everybody's name on there that I wanted to thank. I missed a few people, of course, but, and if I, if I got any wrong, I had to rewrite it. It took me ages to do that. 
Um, so that were a, that did really well. Um, at the time, I, I didn't think that when I did it, I weren't thinking, oh, everybody's name on there will want to buy a board. Because um, I only had 50 med, but then I had to have another 50 med, and I think another 50 med after that, really. You know, there's, uh, there's a lot of local legends on there, really. Um, and then just sort of signed it off. Again, I got to... Uh, I got Josh Hunter to take photo of it. I made this one. Um, it's all postcards. Wish you were here, I called it. Wish you were here, it's proper rad. <laughs> and they're all postcards of places I've been, mainly snow resorts, really. But where, wherever I go, I always buy, um, buy a postcard. So I've put, you know, all these sort of places. But then there's Wakefield one. I had to buy that on eBay. Looks very 70s, uh, West Yorkshire postcard. It's got a, an SF uh, scene in background of the deluxe SF. So Farron did like a, a mock of that, but with the Wakefield buildings on, like the, the Baghead Flats, the Cathedral, the Vicarage, Town Hall, you know, things like that. So we've run that in several different colours like the, the daytime one and then there's a nighttime one. So again, I, I've kind of used that one for years. I've said this so many times, um, so massive thanks to my brother Dave. If it weren't for him, it wouldn't, this place wouldn't be here because I would have never have thought to do that really. Alt shop riders, keep them clips coming in. Uh, so again, I wouldn't be anything without them guys. They're amazing, all of them. All locals, all, all local rippers for supporting shop. And yeah, just over years really, everybody who's come in and bought stuff, like massive thank you to them, really. Mm -hmm.